There are two vocabulary words in this lesson, 同学 and 同班, which both translate to the word classmate, but they mean different things. 同学 means classmates, as in you go to the same school. 同班 means you're in the same class. So 班 is different class, not as different grade level, but within the same grade, separated by class. So for Mandarin, we have two ban. We have panda ban and phoenix ban, xiongmao ban and feng ban. And then in China, it's different from American high schools. Chinese high schools are more like American elementary schools. So you have your grade level and then you have several ban for that grade level. And you stay with that ban not just all day, but for the rest of your high school career. So you'll be stuck with this same group of people in this same room for your entire day and entire three years of high school. Students who have come from China to America to be exchange students have said one of the best things about being an American high school student is getting to change rooms and change the people you're with every hour. They say it's like a great little refresh for your brain. So if you want to see an example of Chinese school, there's this video here. And in this video, you can see the Chinese school in the background. Each of these doors would lead to one of those ban, one of those classes, and they have a set of windows to go with it. So it's like a little beehive. Every morning in China, students do something called zao cao, morning exercises. So here's a video where the students are getting ready to do their morning exercises. And they're going to organize by ban. They'll get in line. Here they're standing in line by ban. And you see the color uh, tells which grade they're in. And they stand in line by height, usually. Your view inside the classroom would look a lot like this. So in this, we have two sets of high school freshmen, Jiu We have A ban and B ban. I could ask some questions. I could ask Laurel Shang, Shama ban. Laurel Shang, A ban. Sarah Shang, Shama ban. Tobias Shang, Shama ban. Then I could ask, Tobias He Jimbo Tong Ban Ma. And we would answer, Bu Shi, Tobias He Jimbo, Bu Shi Tong Ban. They are not classmates. Anthony He Tobias Tong Ban Ma. Shi. So you're going to play a pair work game with your partner. You should have printed out a sheet that includes these two groups of students. One group is grade 9 and one group is grade 10. Either you or your partner will know all the answers to grade 9. For example, Laurel, Jesse, Timothy, and Samira are all in class C together. They are Tongban. And then these students, even though they're all ninth graders, they're in class D together, so they'd be in a different room. They are Tongban. Then your partner will know which class these grade 10 students are in. Your goal is to find out all the classmates for grade 10 before your partner finds out all the classmates for grade 9. So the way you're going to play is, to start with, you'll only know one person's class. You're going to ask Jimbo, he, Sarah, Tong Ban Ma. If your partner says sure da, then they are Tong Ban classmates, and so Jimbo must be in class A. If your partner says Bu Shi, they are not classmates, so Jimbo must be in class B. And you keep going, asking Timmy, He Jimbo, Tong Ban Ma, and your partner will say sure da. So Jimmy must be in class B, or Bu Shi, and then he'd be in class A, until you've found everyone's classmates, okay? 
Now there's one twist to this game. Before you do anything, look at your class that has all the students labeled with a letter and decide which kid looks the meanest. That kid's going to be the bully. Go ahead and mark that kid as the bully somehow. So I think Kevin is going to be our bully. So once you've marked the bully, we're ready to start. Every time you guess right, so if you ask Sarah, He Jimbo Tongban, and your partner says Shurda, you get to go again. Every time you find a classmate and get a Shurda, you get to go again. But every time they say Bu Shur, and you have to switch letters, it's turnover. It's now your partner's turn. Also, if you happen to ask a question, Sarah, He Timmy Tongban Ma, and Timmy turns out to be your partner's bully, they'll tell you, Timmy's the bully, and you lose a turn. But they'll also have to tell you which class Timmy is in, because otherwise the game won't work.